It's normal to make financial mistakes on your financial freedom journey, but in this video, I'm gonna share with you some mistakes that you just can't afford to be making if you wanna be financially free. All these mistakes seem to stem from two things which seem really harmless at first, but you'll soon see why these are both detrimental and why they're actually digging a money grave for your financial dreams. So number one, we have not finding out what your financial freedom number is, and number two is not knowing how much your monthly expenses cost you. I just feel like if you knew what these two numbers were for yourself, you wouldn't be trying to impress everybody in your family by overcompensating with a really nice car that you spend over a thousand dollars a month for, instead of getting that used Toyota that you felt like you were too good to get instead or going out to eat at bougie restaurants all the time, or just mindlessly spending your money, swiping your card, and not even checking your bank account just because you can. You wouldn't be making these mistakes because you would understand exactly how much these mistakes are costing you, and most importantly, you would understand exactly how much time these mistakes are putting between you and your financial dreams. We're not even far into the video yet, and I've already hit four out of five of these mistakes myself. And it's because I'm not perfect, you're not perfect, neither one of us are perfect. So we'll all make mistakes, but there are very simple ways to prevent things like spending more than 30% of your take home income on your rent every single month, and not even knowing how much money you take home per month, and not being prepared for holidays, birthdays, and special times of the year that you end up swiping your credit card for on things that you would have been able to afford if you would have just planned for it. That's why I designed my smart money calculator specifically for you so you could see at a glance per year exactly how much money you're going to be spending on all your necessities and everything in between from entertainment to gifts to holidays, Amazon shopping, door dashing, whatever you can think of. That is what that smart money calculator is built for. Of course, you can add things like your investments, your financial freedom fund, your savings account, your emergency funds, all kinds of things but it takes it a step further and shows you exactly how much money you would be left with at the end of every single month, even after you've spent money on all of those things. So you see exactly how much wiggle room you have. So it takes all the guesswork out of it. A simple solution to a big problem and you can get yours down in the description. That way you won't be surprised when you have $2 left over in your checking account, even though you've spent $300 over your budget already or base your budget on a four week month because you'll realize that most months actually have more than four weeks. And if you base your budget on 28 days and there's really 31 days, you could be in that category of people who end up spending $500 over their budget without really even trying. And that $500 could have been used for something else. And you definitely wouldn't be normalizing using your credit card for things that you don't need or can't afford with the mindset of, oh, I'll pay it off in a few months unless it's an emergency because then you'll know exactly how much money you're paying in interest and how much that's costing you and how much you're spending on that mess. You know what'll happen? You'll be mad at yourself because you'll know that that extra money could have easily gone towards saving and investing. There are a lot of subconscious mistakes that we're making when it comes to money and it's the things that we really don't even think about or realize that are silently killing our financial dreams. So if you wanna travel, make passive income, and set yourself up to a point where you just don't have to worry or stress about money, you're gonna to have to start thinking differently and doing different things than everyone else around you. You simply can't be not tracking your net worth, not automating your savings, and not investing, because if you don't track your net worth and then compare that to where you should be or where you're aiming towards, You'll be moving, but you won't know in which direction or how fast you're going towards your goal or, or anything. You're, you're just really going to be blind and about directionless. And, and I don't want that for you. And without automating your savings, you're just relying on your memory, which, you know, that means you're going to forget multiple times if you're anything like me. So not only are you not tracking your net worth, but now you're not automating your savings and saving consistently to build that number up to the maximum it could be every single month, every single year. And if you forget to do something like saving, I know you're not investing. And that's the most important part to achieving financial freedom is investing. And that's because saving money alone will not make your money multiply. In fact, you divide your money and you make the chances of you ever reaching financial freedom slimmer and slimmer when you max out your credit card, max out your salary, and allow your financial vices to get the best of you. 
And just in case you're curious, I've hit 12 out of 17 of these mistakes. And for some of these, it was for years. And here in a second, I'll actually share exactly what those mistakes were that I've been making, but we're gonna get into this real quick. Maxing out your credit card is a financial death sentence because of the crazy interest rates of the 17%, the 27%. You're paying, you're paying, and the money just keeps growing and growing and growing. I would rather for you to put your money into an investment account and let it grow aggressively like that because the credit card company is making money off of your bad financial decisions. And I understand that some people need their credit card out of pure necessity just because of the economy or maybe they're not making enough money or maybe they have fallen into certain responsibilities that are out of their control. I understand that. I'm talking about the person who doesn't have to swipe their credit card so much, but they choose to do it anyway and they choose to max out their credit card and they choose to live a luxurious lifestyle that they really can't afford. That's who I'm talking about in this video. And it's the same thing with maxing out your salary and that's spending exactly the amount of money that you're making. And the more money you make, the more money you spend and it keeps matching up to your salary. You're not saving any money because of that. You're not investing any money because of that. And you just keep breaking even. So even if you got $100,000 worth of a raise, guess what? You, you don't see any of it. You don't have anything to show for it because even though you made $50,000 last year, now you make $150,000, you're going to upscale everything to that. I'm not saying you can't make little adjustments and feel a little more comfortable, but you still have this much room of money to spend and save and invest. And all of this is rooted in the fact that, and I've done this, this is one thing that I've done, is letting your financial vices get the best of you over a consistent amount of time. That's what leads to maxing out the salary and maxing out your credit card. And since you're still here, I have a treat for you. Here are all the mistakes that I've made as promised earlier in the video. And I have my list right here, so that's why I'm looking down. I did not find out what my financial freedom number was sooner. And I didn't know how much my monthly expenses costed me on average. Therefore, I really wasn't paying attention as much as I should have. You could become very dangerous on a financial level when you know those two basic things. But most of us don't take the time to figure those things out. And that's exactly why I've created the Smart Money Calculator as well as the Financial Freedom Card that gives you that information. I also love eating, so I am the type. I will go out to a bougie restaurant every now and then, but I used to do it way more often. Like a couple years ago, way, way, way more often. And again, because I didn't know how much my monthly expenses cost me on average, I would just blindly swipe my card and be like, what? $20? Like $20 left in my checking account. Another thing I was guilty of was not knowing how much money I took home per month, like off the top of my head. And I was definitely, and I'm still trying to get better at this, definitely wasn't prepared for birthdays, holidays, special events, weddings, all kinds of stuff. I was... I overspent on my budget quite a few times and it could be a hundred, two hundred, four hundred dollars even over my budget because I wasn't paying close attention. Then I was surprised at the amount of money left over. But on top of that, I based my budget off of four weeks because you think of a month, oh, okay, on the calendar that's four weeks, but you gotta count the days. Four weeks is only 28 days if you multiply, you know what I'm saying, seven by four. And if you're off by that many days, your daily budget amount let me tell you something, you can easily spend so much more money over your budget and I've been a victim of my own bad decisions in that way. And at first, I didn't track my net worth, I didn't automate my savings. And here's something that might shock you, I didn't invest and I could have invested as soon as I got out of college, I could have invested. I came into so much money when I graduated from college, more money than I had ever seen at that time because I got my first ever full-time job, I had overtime opportunity, I was getting a lot of money, but I was so protective of my money that I thought, well, invest I, I kinda had a bad connotation of investing. I was scared of it. I was like, the stock market crashes, I'm done. I, I didn't know any better back then. But anyway, I digress. And of course, last but not least, I let my financial vices get the best of me and that's money that could have went towards said investments that we just talked about. So check this out. When you make these mistakes, especially the last three of maxing out your credit card, maxing out your salary and letting your financial vices get to you, when you make those mistakes, you have a very weird sensation throughout your body. They make you feel like you're drowning and thriving at the same time. 
you'll be too confused to realize that your mistakes are pushing you further and further from your financial freedom. So, if you want to learn more about how to track your money and prevent these mistakes and find out what your financial freedom number is, I want you to watch this video right here.